Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and on the screen you can see my sweet motorcycle we made a while back. I've got an idea for how to upgrade it, so my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends. So in the video, I did not show you how to do the smoke. It is simply scribble smoke, and then I duplicated and spread those out to make them look kind of cool. My big idea for the upgrade is to change the engine. So I'm going to start by just shrinking it down and then I want to delete these stars and I want to add something similar to these to my engine. Check out how easy this can be. Oops, missed that little fella. And then I'm doing the work plane so I can attach that part right here. I'm going to build that part with a cube. I'm going to hold down shift, shrink it, and then I am going to type the number 12 and press enter. I'm going to put a number three out here for the radius, so that way it really rounds it, but I only want it to be two millimeters thick. I'm going to nudge it to this location right here. I think that looks pretty sweet. And then I'm going to do control D, and I'm going to raise that one up with control up arrow but I'm gonna change its measurements so that it's smaller. I'm gonna hold this inside edge and I'm gonna shrink it till it's 10 or eight, whatever I pick, but then I only want it to be one millimeter of height. Hold down shift and click the other red one and let's align those. I'm gonna click on the red piece so it knows what I'm talking about and I want it middle middle. Now to make this look more cool, let's make those gray. I'm going to make the bottom one that gray. I'm going to make the middle one a darker gray. You can experiment with the colors. And then I'm going to do shift and select both. And when I do control D and control up arrow, if I raise it up three millimeters, it'll be on top. And if I don't touch anything else and do control D again and again, I've all of a sudden got a pretty sweet little cylinder head that I just added to my engine. There are lots of things you can do to make yours more cool, but I just want to give you an idea so you can play and make it more incredible. I am going to hide all of this for a moment. And then I'm going to grab my new component. Notice I'm making something that only touches them. There I've got them all. And if I do control D with that bunch, I can use the arrow keys to nudge them across. Or so now I've got two side by side. If I do show all, I think that looks pretty sweet. You could do those same steps again on the other side, but I'm gonna show you a fancy trick that if you're really careful, you can get them to the other side instantly. So first, find a way to select them. Do control C to copy. And then this is important. Do your show all orbit around, set your work plane to that other location, and do control V. They will not line up in the right spot, but if you hit the letter D, you can drop them to the right height and move them to the location they need to be. Just like that, I have totally upgraded my engine so it looks much more realistic. All right, now let's add a sweet headlight. I'm going to do that with a half sphere. I'm going to hold down shift and squish it till it says 14. And I'll type that in so it's perfect. And then I'm going to bring out a torus. And if I make this 8, it'll be 16. But I want the tube to only be 1.3 and press enter. Let's see how this looks around the shape. I'm going to say it's a little bit big, so I'm going to do 7.5. That's more like what I'm looking for, but I'm going to take this and I'm going to raise it up. Control up, and I'm going to go up two, and then I'm going to line those. Let's click on the pink one, and I can see better from an angle. Center, center. I'm going to make that black, and I'm going to give it a gray outline. And if we group those you have all of a sudden got a pretty sweet looking little headlight. We just need some yellow and also the multicolor. I'm going to add the yellow by doing a work plane right on that face. Let's bring out a cylinder. Remember we had to go down to size 14. I'm going to make it paper thin, so one millimeter thick. 
notice it sits right in front of that we can pick a color and it lines up just sweet so it actually looks like the headlight is on center center group multicolor still works so we're good w for my work plane i'm going to bring it close to the area do control up to lift it up and let's center it on the tire just like we did everything else click the tire hold down shift click your light hit a line double check that it's the tire that it's thinking about and hit center i like that a lot now you can have so much fun making this so much more cool change your colors so that it looks just absolutely spectacular i don't like my purple handlebars so i'm going to ungroup all of this and ungroup and ungroup and ungroup and instead of purple i want that to definitely be some sort of gray yeah this red does not fit at all that needs to be black I'm going to double click to edit that as one part. Boom. That looks pretty sharp. And you can see there's so much room. We talked earlier about adding pipes. You could add pegs for your feet. You could have a little scribble dude. You can just have a blast making this more awesome. Alrighty, friends. So I don't want to do everything for you. I want to leave you some room to make yours more epic than mine. If you do make something awesome, please take time to share it with us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. All of them were at HL Mod Tech. And just make sure you let us know the cool things you're doing. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.